This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 2.2. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 2 Supplemental Problems on page 2. Suppose that we have a car that has a 3357 lamp and that with the ignition on the voltage across the lamp is 14 volts. And with the ignition off it's 12 volts. Let's find the power dissipated in one of these lamps. If you recall from Chapter 2, power is also V squared over R. We found in Supplemental Problem 2.1 that the parking tail light filament was approximately 23.33 ohms when there was 14 volts across it. So if we take that voltage squared and divide by 23.33, we get about 8.4 watts. The second filament had a resistance of about 6.14 ohms when he had 14 volts across it, so we'll calculate the power then as the voltage squared over the resistance. It's almost 32 watts, so significantly higher, so this can be much brighter than this one. Now when you shut the ignition off, the voltage drops, to around 12 volts in this example. We found that in the previous supplemental problem that when you had 12 volts across the parking and taillight filament, the resistance was about 21.82 ohms. That gives me then 6.6 .6 watts. For the braking signal filament, it was about 5.69 ohms when you had 12 volts across it. The voltage squared divided by the resistance gave about 25.31 watts. And again, this is much higher than this, so it'll be much brighter. Why is the voltage different? Well, when the car is running, the alternator is charging the battery, and it's about 14 volts that's across the battery. When you turn the car off, the battery is somewhere between about 11 volts and 13.6 volts. So it could be it's sitting at 12 volts, really anything in that range. Here's some of the properties of car batteries. This is Supplemental Problem 2.2.